Welcome back everybody to another uh, review. This is a review of what has happened so far in WWE 2K16. The good, the bad, the ugly. The gameplay, I, I don't, I ain't going to show any because I don't have any to show because everybody else has already posted on Facebook. But this is my opinion of what I think could have been better. Should been better, or is better. We're, we're gonna go with the roster. The roster of the match of the people look awesome, with some exceptions of some of the old people that are still in there. Don't need to be in there from the last game, like uh, like General Adnan, Colonel Mustafa, and Sergeant Slaughter. They don't need to be in there unless you want to do Sergeant Slaughter and. Uh, the Iron Sheik, which General Mustafa was, I understand that. Um, but having all three of them in there as that gimmick was bad, because uh, nobody cares about them. I wouldn't. I don't. And I will retract that. I do care, but I would rather see. Sergeant Slaughter as Sergeant Slaughter and Iron Sheik as Iron Sheik. I have no idea who General Adnan was or knew I care because they didn't last long. Um, from the WCW, because they're all in the game from the DLCs last time, the only two people that were relevant besides the Sting that we got from the last game was... DDP and Bam Bam Bigelow and Lord w uh, Stephen Regal. I don't care about Finley because they botched him and they did it again. I don't care about Lex Luger because he just plainly sucked. But I do like the fact that they added every member of the NXT roster pretty much that were mainstream and popular. Which is awesome. Except for Baron Corbin, which uh, he sucks. He started out as a jobber, in my opinion. Just like that perfect 10, Ty Dillinger. The gimmicks, it may be over, but it sucks. It's horrible. But I like the fact that these guys, uh, well, Baron Corbin's in it. Uh, Ty Dillinger is not. Um, but how, and this is the the biggest thing, uh, how, when, when you have the whole Divas Revolution in effect, and it's popular, and it's now, and it's for well, going to be here for a while, why not add the four horsemen, the uh, horsewomen, of the Divas Revolution in this game, I don't know. My opinion is, and I, I they're, they're racist or uh, sexist to the NXT Divas because every guy is in there, not the women. I'm hoping they decide to di make a D uh, Divas Revolution DLC for these th these women because it won't be a it won't be a game without them. It would be just like 15, which if some if most of you play the single players, you really didn't have a, re a woman's roster only for one show because the rest of it are were was a sausage fest pretty much. And you couldn't Yeah, I know you don't play with them, but if you're a single player like uh, player person like I am for most part you want variety, you want excitement in it, and with the women you'll get that. But the women that are in here are the Bellas, mm, Alicia Fox, Eva Marie, the shitty divas like that. But the good ones that are still in here, in my opinion, are still Paige, Naomi, 
uh, Natalia, which I forgot she was in there. And yes, guys, she is wearing the the uh, Catwoman-like costume outfit thingy, which made no sense. But but not having and the shitty divas are in there. I'm just saying the shitty divas are in the game. I don't know why when you have the good talent that you do and you're promoting the divas revolution but not having the divas revolution in the game you you'll get two different Stephanie McMahons which I am I'm okay with the one the one from this past year the one that kicked Brie Bella's ass pretty much that one was the awesome one. I don't care about the Attitude Era one. But, yeah, that, that, that's my thing. Is you get all these good divas, and they're not in here, but the men, the men from NXT are. But like I said, you could have took all these shitty superstars out of there, like Lex Luger. Uh, Finley, General Adnan. There's three. Uh, there's three open spaces for these divas. Right there, if you took them out. Change Mustafa, Colonel Mustafa, to back to the Iron Sheik because that's who he is. But other than that, the ga the gameplay looks awesome that I've seen so far. The roster review for the men are awesome. I like the fact that Shane O'Mac is in there. I don't like the fact that we still have showcases because nobody gives a shit about the showcases. I'm sorry, people. Nobody cares about 2K showcases. We want to go in. If we if we want to go in, we want to create our wrestler. We want to do online mode, do our wrestling leagues online. Nobody cares about the showcases. We're going to buy those freaking packs, the, the uh, DLC, not DLC, but the, uh, the, uh, what the hell, the hell is it called? The, uh, the accelerator, maybe the, uh, the free the free stuff that you get for it first, like the like the season pass, and I don't think we have one, but the accelerator and what comes with it, so we can unlock them automatic, unlock the people automatically, so we can use them in our on uh, offline mo season mode or use them so we can go online. But we don't actually pl sit there and play the showcases. I mean, yes, if you're bored, you play it. But, quite frankly, who plays it just to earn the stuff? We already unlock it when we get it. Another thing is that didn't need to be in the game. Arnold Schwarzenegger didn't need to be there. Quite frankly, that was the, we that was the most pathetic DLC pre-order person that I have ever seen. Because he did not do anything for the WWE. And I thought Mike Tyson was bad as a pre-order downloadable contact guy. But at least I understood his role because he actually did something in the Attitude Era. He had a part in it. Which Arnold did not. But that's my little rant on WWE 2K15 or 16, and it just bugs me because I know a lot of people that I've I've seen rant about it wanted Sasha in there because they could use her theme song for characters and the bank statement. I just hope they have the moves in there with a deal with a move DLC pack or they're just in there. But I've been fireproof. That was my rant and I will see you guys next time for another and also well 
tonight for the uh, conclusion of the aftermath of Night of Champions. See ya.